Hi, sir. I see you're looking at our vehicle today. My name's Hunter. Uh, are you shopping for yourself or someone else today? I am shopping for myself. Alright, uh, is there anything you're kind of interested in? I'm a Chevy guy. Chevy? Alright, so I think I'll point you to these two and uh, we'll leave the Nissan out of here. So let's uh, bring these into the garage. Alright, so this is a 1997 Chevrolet Venture. Um, it is front wheel drive and it has a 3.4 liter V6 engine. And uh, now we'll take a look inside. Okay, so. Uh, like I said before, it's a front-wheel drive car. Um, you got all your, um, I guess, functions in the car, like uh, cruise control, blinker, hazards. That's all over here. You got your hazards up here. Uh, okay. Blinker, down for left, up for right, obviously. You know, okay. you got your shift right here. Mm -hmm. um, it all shows up on the dashboard over there. Okay. You got your odometer there. You have uh, your speedometer there. Your gas here. Does the... Uh speedometer light up yes when the car is running it will light up okay um over here you have interior lighting and okay. you have interior lighting all throughout the vehicle uh mm -hmm. this is a seven seated vehicle and the back two rows of seats can be taken out okay you have all of your radio buttons here you got your heating um mm -hmm. and then you have to press these two buttons if you want it from the back to the front the front to the back however you want it okay Makes this sense. is if you want it to come towards you or if you want it to come um at the feet and towards you at the same time just the feet and then you have okay. over here it will um uh defrost the windshield for you so okay. all you gotta do is uh That's do nice. that any questions so far um just uh how long does it take about to get those out? Uh, to get them out, I mean, it really doesn't take long. There's levers on the back of each of them. Okay. So if you would go back there, you would pull the lever, and then you'd um, press another lever to pull them out. Um, otherwise, you can just put them down, or you can pull them out. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it wouldn't take long, and then they're easy to put back in. It's nice. Um, you got the side door lock button up here. And then you have just some more interior lighting. Okay. You got your mirror control. Um, All right. Which you would turn left to use the left mirror. You would turn right to use the right mirror. Mm -hmm. You just move it up and down, left and right, whichever way you want to use it. Okay. You got all your locks and windows over there. You got your radio here, so if you want to um, have your station on, like, I guess, speed dial, you can, um, mm -hmm. they're, like, programmed, I guess. You just click whichever one you want. It comes with six, um, six of them. You got okay. your volume control here. All right, so this is our 2003 Chevrolet Suburban. It's a four-wheel drive, and it's got a 5.3-liter V8 engine. Okay. It's got the tow straps out here. Right. And this one's 7,000, and uh, uh, opposed to the other one, which was 1,000, because it's an older model. All right, so over here, you know, basic mm -hmm. vehicle controls. You got your brights, you have your hazards, your blinkers, down, left, up, right. right. You got your shift over here. Mm -hmm. And then you have your window controls and the lock okay. buttons over there. Um, and so this button is, because I didn't see that in the other car, is this? Yes, that's actually a window lock, so okay. only you can control it. So if you press it, it would light up orange, and it locks all the windows, so only you have full control, you know, so. Okay. So uh, those yes. move them, they move the pedals back and forward. Oh, that's um, nice. So that helps you adjust it. Mm -hmm. uh, radio control is all up here. Okay. And you can switch it to CD using these two buttons. Okay. And this is to scan through stations or the okay. CD tracks. And you have six as well as you did in the other car to right. choose from. And so these buttons on the steering wheel. Yes, the other car did not have them yes. because this is a newer model. Okay. Um, these will control the volume and all that. This, you know, and just okay. basic anything, some of the things you can do from... The middle here, so you can do So instead of it. having to switch. Correct, yeah. So, I mean, it just makes it nice. Like, if you want to change the station, you don't even need to take your eyes off the road. You just press the button, you know? Yeah. Um, up here, you have your volume control. Okay. And you can even press it, and it will shut the entire uh, radio system off. And then just press it again, turn it okay. back on. You have your CD eject here. You have your... And then to load the CD, you just click load, put it in okay. there. Up here on the uh, mirror, the rear, the rear view mirror... You have um, temperature and direction will okay. be in this little box. Mirrors, you can just press that button all the way on top over there. Yeah. And then it'll, and then and you just press the square down, down, you know, down, okay. up, up, left, left, right, right. You have a uh, USB port here, so you can so plug it like in. So for like your phone? Yes. And, okay. So you can plug it in there and charge your phone while you're on a long drive. All right. All your heating controls are right there. You have a um, driver's side 
control. All right. And then you, the nice. passenger can control theirs. Up here, controls all the back heating. This is an eight-seated vehicle. Um, okay. This seat right here, it, you can just push it down. There's a lever that you pull, and then people can climb into the back. You can put it right back up, have someone okay. sit there. Nice. You can open the trunk of the vehicle, and you can pull both sets of rows of seats out. Okay. That's um, handy. Yes, it is, and it, it takes about the same time as that vehicle does. Okay. Uh, All right. And you got seat warmers on both the passenger and the driver's side, so that right. will definitely help in the winter. Okay. That's nice. Um, is there any questions or concerns? Um, these buttons are kind of overwhelming. Is that kind of throwing you off? Yeah. Um, yeah, we had a guy, um, basically anyone who has come in, um, we even had a guy two weeks ago, came in, bought the car, and he had the same um, problem. Mm -hmm. He called back about a week later, and he said, oh, yeah, you know, it's easy. You just get the hang of it. So, okay. I mean, it, it, it clicks with time, you know. So. Okay. Okay. As long as you have a basic understanding of a vehicle, you should be good. All right. Um, you got up here your interior lighting, mm -hmm. and you have a sunroof. Mm -hmm. To okay. control the sunroof, you just press these two buttons. This will bring it back. This will bring right. it forward. And then you have, and then just close it every time okay. you're done, you know, obviously, so nothing gets in if you're parking it outside. So, uh, do you mind if I take it for a test drive? Yeah, sure, no problem. Alright, so now that you've uh, seen the two vehicles, which one uh, do you think you'd want to take? Um, I really like this one, but it's just a bit out of my price range. The price? Well, you know, it's definitely worth it if you were to take it. I mean, it's got a bunch, you know, a lot of more features than uh, the other one there because it's a newer model. I mean, that's okay. why it's yeah. it's a little more expensive, but yeah. it's it's definitely worth it after you get it. So, okay. I mean, and this one too, you know, whichever one you would like. I mean, it's all of you. Okay. I'm thinking I'm going to have to go with that We're going with the 2003 Suburban? Yes. Alright, well I'll meet you right in there and we can uh, get it settled. Alright, All right, so the total with the truck today is $7,038.50 and we are throwing in ice scrapers on sale today. They're normally $14. Today they're 7 Would you like to throw one in? Uh, sure. Alright. So, uh, in total, with the ice scraper and the truck, it'll be $7,045.50. And uh, are you paid with cash, check, or credit today? Credit. Credit, all right. So your card is declined. Oh, um, here. Oh, wait, this, this is the card that I'm using to pay off this one. Okay. Here. Thank you. Alright, it went through. And if you so could just sign that. your name right there. Alright, and we do have a 100,000 mile warranty, so before your vehicle gets to 100,000 miles, if there's any problem, bring it back to us and we can uh, out with that. And if there's okay. any problems, we'll, we'll fix all of it. Alright. And uh, my name is Hunter, once again, so thank you. Yeah. And uh, enjoy everything. Here's your ice scraper. Keys to your truck, and here's your receipt. Thanks. Have a great day.